going on guys? GeoSnowRate here. In today's video we're going to take a look at a very interesting tweak that is called Redstone Insider Preview. Now Redstone allows you to get the Windows Phone look and feel on your iOS device. Now I've been a uh, Windows Phone user in the past and I can tell you that the, um, the look and the feel that is imported from Windows Phone to iOS using this tweak is definitely great. In fact you can't really tell this device is not currently running Windows Phone if you look at it and you're not very knowledgeable. Now the only thing that you know tells this device is a, an iOS device is the status bar which is also going to disappear, is also going to be transformed in the Windows Phone status bar in the final version. For the moment this tweak is in beta, that means insider preview, and as you can see it works pretty smoothly, it has been uh, updated recently and it looks like this. Of course everything you see in here is customizable, for example the colors, the transparency or the opacity of the tiles and also the size. For example you have this uh, phone tile in here which will open the uh, dialer pad. And I can make it like this, or I can make it even smaller, or I can make it big. Now this is a feature from the Windows Phone. You can of course move them around by holding them and of course dragging them across. And um, this is exactly how the Windows Phone uh, actually looks like. Now if, you've, if you haven't been using Windows Phone in your life, I'm going to tell you that the um, the, the actual you know, simulation of the Windows Phone interface is definitely great with this tweak. Now looking at it, as you can see it also has the app drawer, so exactly as on a Nokia Lumia for example, if you swipe to the left you're going to have your app drawer or your application list in here, which has a search bar and is also sorted alphabetically, if you press on any of the letters it's going to give you a full alphabet in here, if you press V for example you're going to get all your apps in here, and you can also remove an application if you want so, for example for some reason I have two yellow dogs, I want to either pin the start or uninstall, you press uninstall and you click delete. As, again, this is exactly how Windows Phone looks like. There is absolutely no difference. This is why I'm, uh, I'm very excited about this tweak because it definitely looks exactly like the original thing. Now, how you can get it? Well, I'm going to also show you an effect that is of course taken from Windows Phone and that is the splash screen with the application logo on a solid background but I'm going to also show you how to install this. So I'm going to open Cydia, as you, can I, as you can see it shows a logo of the application and then moves you in. This is the actual tweak, it's called Redstone Insider Preview and it's free. At least currently, while it's still in Insider Preview, it's still free. I do not know if um, Sniper G -I, uh, G -E -R is going to make it paid or not, but for the moment you can try it for free and it's definitely worth installing. The uh, repo in order to get this one is Festival Repo, I'm going to show you in here, so it's um, festival.ml slash repo slash. The link is going to be in the description down below. Again, keep in mind this still has bugs since it's a um, insider preview, not a full um, stable release, but it does look okay and it's usable enough. As you can see with the latest update the applications have received a sort of you know live tile system to them. For example the weather application also has a, um, a live tile to it, for some reason it's not active right now, but normally it shows you know how many degrees are and so on. The people application also shows the faces of your you know people in the uh, in the um, you know, phone book. And these are the settings of Redstone. It's called Redstone, a name taken from Minecraft, of course, as the logo implies. It can be on or off, which is neat. Then you have the components. It does have a start screen, and I'm going to show you. Okay, as you can see, this is the start screen with the clock here on the side and the date and time. Well, it definitely looks like Windows Phone. I've been using Windows Phone and I can tell you it's exactly the same lock screen. Even the, uh, the animation to it is exactly the same. The accent color, again, another feature taken from the Windows Phone, is exactly like here. And uh, you have the accent color, which means the color of the tiles. For, for now, I'm running with the blue. The tiles are the squares that you can see in here and are pretty damn neat and um, you can change their color as well. Then you have the tile opacity, you can play with the transparency of the tiles and then show more tiles which adds you know, um, a third column to them. You can either reset the uh, start screen which is going to reset anything you have modified, for example the screen, sorry the tile sizes, the colors and so on, and if you modify the accent color or the tile opacity you need to restart screen board using this button in here, and this is your lot. 
these are the settings it has and it looks pretty dope. If you want to check it out, as I said, the repo is in the description. Thanks for watching, I'm Geosnow, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.